Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a patient with pain in the forefoot, the ball of the foot area. They claimed it was around the second metatarsal head area, but on this view we can see the second metatarsal head looks great, third is good, but the fourth metatarsal phalangeal joint does not look quite right. There's lots of edema in the muscles surrounding that. The fourth metatarsal shaft goes here. We see the head has some edema, and there's also really intense edema in the proximal phalanx of the fourth toe. Normally when you see this much edema in the soft tissues, there's a stress fracture of the fourth metatarsal, but the shaft looks really good, so it's not related to that. It's really just the head and that fourth toe is the problem. And it's all centered around this joint. Now here we are at the joint. We see the fourth metatarsal head. There's marrow edema pretty much along the uh, subarticular region and plantar aspect, and the toe has prominent marrow edema. Zoom that on up there. And now the next thing to look for here is uh, two things. Since this is not the typical pattern of marrow edema we usually see with a metatarsal stress fracture, we know it's involved in the head and toe. When we see anything in the head, so particularly you think about Freiburg infraction or Freiburg disease, and they have usually just intense marrow edema localized to the metatarsal head, and a lot of times the articular surface is flat, um, there's some sometimes low signal beneath the articular surface, which is flat. There's some volume loss, but this really looks like it's more in the toe, and there is no flattening here. So this is not typical for Freiburg disease. And that is also typically the second metatarsal. And so the next thing to think about is the plantar plate. Is this a plantar plate tear? So on this view, you say, well, I do see something coming underneath here. This looks like a plantar plate. If we go to this next cut, you can't really see the plantar plate very well. It should come across underneath here. And this view, you see it here. So in the middle, it's suspect. I'll always go to another one to see. This is the third metatarsal head. You say, okay, this plantar plate looks nice and thick. And here's the middle part. It looks pretty good. That looks good there. So the normal plantar plate looks a little bit more thick. We're going to go to that third one. I'm sorry, the fourth one again. This looks a little attenuated. Here it looks probably absent. And here you can see a little piece of it. So now, my favorite view for this is the um, axial image. So if we put up this image here, this is where I usually look at the plantar plate. So I'll look. Normally it's the second plantar plate that's injured. So I'll go along the plantar surface right here, and you usually see a nice dark band. I see this nice dark band that one looks normal. I'll go to the third one here. I don't see as well of a dark band, but it looks halfway decent. And now if we get to this one, we see this longitudinal band of brightness here. And so this longitudinal band of brightness is a, a plantar plate tear, the fourth metatarsal. And when they get these plantar plate tears, they have lots of pain, they have abnormal stress, and they get reactive marrow usually it's in the metatarsal head, but in this patient they also had the prominent marrow all throughout the fourth toe. And also all the muscles had uh, edema in them as well. And in my fellowship MRI, we never really saw these, didn't really hear about them, so when I got into practice, uh, I saw one. That was only because the podiatrist was worried about it and we explained to me what it was. And then since then, you know, it was near the beginning of my career, I've seen these all the time. So get on this view right here, go along the central part, then go down uh, along the bottom, then look right here to see a dark band. You see a relatively dark band. If you see any funny signal here, this may be a plantar plate tear. Again, usually these things are involving the second metatarsal head. Usually they're related to really intense pain in the forefoot, the ball of the foot area here. I think I've seen some in the third and second, but um, fourth, I'm not sure I've ever seen one in the fourth before. Anyway, a plantar plate tear, not terribly uncommon, and it's something that can be easily missed or mistaken for a stress fracture or other things. So thank you very much. Hope you have a great day.